Fernando Alonso has a radical idea for Formula One. What if drivers skipped all practice sessions and jumped straight into qualifying? While some racers worry about not having enough practice time, especially at events like the Chinese Grand Prix, Alonso believes they could do without it. Aston Martin ambassador and XF1 driver Pedro de la Rosa shared this bold vision, revealing Alonso's preference for heading directly into the qualifying rounds. So, let's dive into this video today to learn more about Alonso's extreme vision for F1 and what it could mean for the future of racing. Formula One is gearing up for an exciting return to the Shanghai International Circuit, marking its first appearance there in five years. This race will also introduce a revised sprint format, adding a new twist to the weekend. Unlike previous years, qualifying for the main race will now occur on Saturday, following the sprint race. Friday's schedule will feature the first free practice and a sprint shootout. This schedule change maintains the traditional one-hour FP1 session, but modifies the rest of the race weekend. This adjustment has raised concerns among top drivers like Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz, who have expressed worries about the limited time available to familiarize themselves with the Shanghai circuit again. Adding to the weekend's drama, Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso has sparked further debate by suggesting an even more radical change, eliminating practice sessions entirely and moving directly into qualifying. Pedro de la Rosa, a well-known figure in motorsports and an ambassador for Aston Martin, recently shared some intriguing insights about Fernando Alonso on the F1 Nation podcast. Alonso, a seasoned Formula One driver known for his bold racing style, has a unique perspective on how race weekends should be structured. According to de la Rosa, Alonso would prefer to eliminate practice sessions entirely from the race weekend. Alonso believes he doesn't need any warm-up laps or additional tyres to perform at his best. Fernando, actually, what he would like is to go directly into qualifying, De La Rosa explained. Alonso is confident in his ability to deliver maximum performance right from the start, suggesting it's just bang, the first lap, that's it, and that's the fastest he will be all weekend. He doesn't need to get up to speed. Amid Formula One's ongoing experiments with the sprint format, which aims to streamline and intensify the race weekend, the upcoming Chinese Grand Prix presents fresh challenges and opportunities for teams and drivers. The revised schedule reduces traditional practice time, pushing teams into a tighter series of qualifying sessions and races. Pedro de la Rosa sees these changes as an ideal opportunity for drivers to demonstrate their adaptability and innate racing skills. He suggests that the compressed schedule could favor drivers who can quickly adjust without extensive practice time. But I think it's good the sprint format, it's good for the drivers to adapt, to make sure that they don't have too much time to change the car setups to learn the tricks of the track. So I think a sprint format always makes the best driver shine a bit more, De La Rosa commented. He further said, the reality is that the best cars will always shine but the best drivers sometimes are not given a chance because by the time you get to Q3 for example, all the drivers have had like 8 or 9 sets of new tyres to really find the limit. That is the biggest difference. Moreover, the 1996 world champion Damon Hill also recognises the opportunity from the reshuffled Formula One format, particularly for drivers who usually don't get many chances to showcase their skills. Hill pointed out Fernando Alonso as one such driver to watch closely under the new conditions. I think any time the format is turned on its head there's an opportunity, Hill explained. He likened the changes to the impact of rain during a race, where unpredictability levels the playing field. It's not good if you're at the front, because you want to preserve your position, you want to protect, and you want all things to be equal, because then you know you're going to be quick. But if you've got uncertainty, I think that's a great opportunity for people who ordinarily, people like Fernando, I'm sure he'd love it. Alonso, along with Lewis Hamilton, is the only other active multi-time winner of the Chinese Grand Prix, having secured victories in 2005 and 2013. This track record suggests Alonso could thrive under the new sprint format. The Chinese Grand Prix, the fifth race of the 2024 F1 season, introduces one of six sprint weekends scheduled for the year, 
drivers will have only 60 minutes of practice time to familiarize themselves with the 5.451 km Shanghai International Circuit before heading into the high-stakes sprint qualifying session. Alonso further explains his stressful China sprint qualifying with the delicate balancing act. Fernando Alonso experienced a particularly tense sprint qualifying session at the Chinese Grand Prix, finding the changing weather conditions in Shanghai to be quite challenging. Despite the stress, Alonso performed exceptionally well, securing third place on the grid for Saturday's sprint race, just ahead of Max Verstappen's Red Bull. The sprint qualifying session, disrupted by rain, tested the drivers' skills as they navigated the Shanghai International Circuit, which Formula One had not visited since 2019. The damp track conditions made the SQ3 session especially difficult, with drivers visibly struggling to control their vehicles on the increasingly slippery surface. Lando Norris ultimately succeeded under these challenging circumstances, claiming the sprint pole position, followed closely by Lewis Hamilton. Reflecting on the demanding session, Alonso described it as quite stressful. He noted the constant concern about rain from the start, keeping everyone on edge. In Q1, we were just looking at the radar and the threat of rain was there from the first minute, Alonso explained during his interview with Formula One. Despite not being very competitive in dry conditions where he was positioned 8th or 9th, he found some improvements as the sessions progressed. We made some progress in Q1 and Q2 just because we were P8 or P9, so not super competitive in the dry," Alonso remarked about the earlier sessions. The final session, Q3, proved to be the most demanding. In the rain at the end of Q3, every lap was in a little bit different conditions, Alonso explained. Ultimately, he was extremely happy with the outcome, which saw him secure a strong starting position despite the difficulties. With only an hour of practice before the sprint qualifying, Alonso expressed uncertainty about Aston Martin's race pace for the weekend. The 2024 F1 regulations allow for more flexibility with the Parque Firma rules during sprint weekends, enabling teams to fine-tune their setups before qualifying for Sunday's main race. Further, Alonso hopes that the 19-lap sprint race will provide valuable insights and direction for the team's strategy moving forward potentially enhancing their performance for the main event. Alonso candidly responded when asked about his expectations for the race performance, not really a clear idea yet, but we will find out tomorrow. His focus is on the immediate challenge, given the packed schedule that includes both sprint and main races. He talked about the opportunity the weekend presents with multiple sessions on the track, we have a lot of racing laps now this weekend, a sprint race tomorrow, and obviously the main race on Sunday. The team can test their strategies and adjustments in real racing conditions with this lineup. Looking forward, he remained hopeful about continuing to perform well in the qualifying sessions, aiming to secure a good starting position for the races. Let's see if we can qualify well again tomorrow and let's see, he stated, keeping an optimistic yet cautious outlook on the unfolding race weekend. Let's now understand how F1 qualifying works, the rules, formats, etc. Formula One qualifying is a critical and exhilarating component of the race weekend. It often serves as a reliable predictor of a car's potential performance in the main race. Qualifying involves a three-stage process that whittles down the drivers in a series of knockout sessions until the fastest 10 vie for pole position. Established in 2006, this structured format starts with all drivers having 18 minutes in the first session, Q1, to set their fastest laps. At this point, the five slowest drivers are eliminated, setting their starting grid positions from 16th to 20th. After a brief reset, the second session, Q2, commences for 15 minutes, ending with the elimination of another five drivers, who then occupy grid positions 11th to 15th. The climax of qualifying is the third session, Q3, a tense 12-minute shootout that determines the top 10 starting positions. The fastest driver earns pole position. This final sprint highlights the driver's skills and the car's speed capabilities under pressure. In addition to the traditional qualifying format, Formula One introduced sprint qualifying in 2021 at select races, adding a fresh dynamic to the weekend. This format sees the usual Saturday qualifying moved to Friday evening. 
The positions secured during this session then set the grid for sprint qualifying on Saturday, a much shorter race, about one-third the length of a standard Grand Prix. This race does not require pit stops and is a flat-out race to the finish. The results of the sprint qualifying race determine the starting grid for Sunday's main race, with points awarded to the top eight finishers enhancing the competitive stakes. As the sport continues to innovate, it remains to be seen how new ideas, like those proposed by drivers such as Fernando Alonso, will be integrated. So what do you think of the extreme vision of Alonso? Comment below and subscribe for more.